So again, let me tell you something. Eh? Do you know during the slave trade, when people are getting captured in Africa, you know, when these colonizers are capturing people and taking away out of Africa, you know, there is something they always do. They don't just capture them and carry them away like that. There is something they always do. They always call the chiefs, like those chief priests, you know. And those chief priests, we kind of pray for the slaves, kind of pray for them and make some incantation and and bless them, you know, so that they will have a successful journey. You know. But according to the story, some of these chief priests, like some of these chiefs, don't really know where the slaves are being taken to. You know, they don't really know. They are just kind of praying for them to have um to have a successful journey towards wherever they want to go. Just like whenever you are traveling now, you always pray that you have a successful journey, you know. So to them, back then to them they were just they were just they were kind of be invited by those white colonists to pray for their brothers, you know. So who will be traveling, you know. So they will have a successful journey. So that's a kind of an interesting journey about a uh, slave trade because uh, the case of slave trade is something is a is is a very crucial um is a very crucial topic that everyone need to know what happened during our uh, our how our forefathers were captured and taken away out of Africa and believe me some of them are probably uh, some black Americans we are seeing today you know so it's such an interesting story kindly uh, kindly cool down and watch this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you at the end of the day. Bye. The slave trade started in Badagu around 1473. Okay. By a man called Farmer Gomez. He has different names. But the activities of slave trade, buying and selling proper, started in 15, between 1502 and 1510. Then this shrine has been in existence even before then. The practitioner of the shrine, that is, the worshipper of the shrine, they do do uh, prayers for those souls. They bring them, this is the slave market, they bring them from different parts of the then African country. Let me not say Nigeria, because there was no Nigeria during the period of slave trade. Okay. People that were sold were taken from all the way from Ilori. Or your Shaki uh, elsewhere, and also in the present Ketu, in the Republic of Benin, down to Port Novo here, they bring them here, sort them, then they take them to the point of uh, point of no return from there to uh, to the new world. But when they have been sold, the worshiper they ask them, pray for them. So that they can have safe trip to where they are going. Unfortunately, they don't even know where their brothers are going. They pray that so so, -so will not happen to you. So, so so will not happen to you. Then I'm one. I even wonder why they are not here. So that you can get the performance how it was done. Mama, we can go in, Abby. We can come in. Okay, please come and say what's going on. Yes. Oh. So, so, this is, so we're removing our shoes, but we're going in. Yeah. So this is our what? This is a Vleketo shrine itself. So all these people, they are the people that, you know, perform some ritual prayers. For the slaves. For the they slaves, were yes. So we have the sheep priest, that's a uh, Voduno. Yeah. But the sheep priest is not on ground because everything is just like temporary. Okay. You did not inform us okay. ahead. So I didn't mean you have informed us ahead we will have bring the main uh, Voduno. But these people, they are the descendants okay. of the uh, slave victims. Okay. Yeah. So we can go in? Yes. We can so go what's, in. why did she put this in? Uh, it's part of the rituals. Okay, but it, it, but it, no, it, it doesn't affect anything. Just go. It's water. Okay, yeah. It's okay. normal water. Okay, let's yes, go. It's normal water. So, why won't you stand back? You can stand here. Okay. Mama, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'
It's on the road. It's on the road. It's on Goddess is known for uh, the goddess of ocean, winds, and prosperity. Okay. So, doing all this is to appease the goddess of ocean that they are embarking on this journey at on the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, that's why they will have that's to do that. Water to exactly, okay. they will perform so, some rituals so for them. So yes. So, the goddess didn't know that they were being transported for slavery. Of course, even up till now, if you want to travel to your belief, you pray to God, right? So we God know you want to travel before. So definitely that is their belief. So that is their belief. Man. Just swap it. On top of the heat. Yes, anyway. Okay. Exactly. Now it's in the plate. Anyway, yes. anyway. Okay, now I see water, cola, and, and leaf. Yes. Okay. And look at the leaf here. On any shrine, you definitely see this leaf. They call it akoko. We are Okay. Shift and leaf. Okay. okay. Nice. Yeah. So you wanted to say something more, should? Uh, no, nothing not much. much. I just want to explain to you uh, okay, the reason yeah. why they give us water. The same way they would give them then, just to appeal the water. Goddess. Goddess. That's why they have to give them the water, the gin, the, and, and the cola nuts. Okay. So they will sail successfully to where they are going to. The same way we believe, we believe in God these days yes. that uh, if we are traveling, we pray to God that this is what we want. Mm -hmm. The same way they pray for the slaves then. Okay. And that's their belief, that's their culture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. So I guess you all see how some of these chiefs uh, perform some rituals or some incantation, you know, that's blessing them. You know, back then, you know, back then, all these things were popular. It was, it were, they were, it was rampant then, you know. But just as a religion, when religion came to Africa, some of these things has to diminish and go away, you know. It's, though some of these things, some of this incantation or some of these rituals still happens in our current society or in our current world now. But just that there are few because because many are now converted to Christianity and and different religion, you know. So this this is how some of them, uh, these chief chief priests, uh, bless the slaves, uh, because after capturing slaves in different part of Africa, you know, in different areas, they will go to Ghana capture slaves, go to Benin Republic capture slaves, come to Nigeria, then they will bring them to Nigeria, you know, before. Uh, before then, they will bring them to Nigeria, bless them, like pray for them. The chief priest will pray for them and bless their journey. You know, then they will take, they will be the slaves will be taken to the 
uh, the journey of uh, uh, the um, the point of no return where they will be loaded to the ship you know from them from the ship um, they will be taken away out of africa you know so is 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 something it's something emotional to say like it's something um it's something sad it's a sad history of africa and how blacks we are captured and taken away but with times we keep on revealing some of these facts we keep on making this even though the government seems not interested or seems to uh, like they seem they want to um take uh, they want to take away that story you know but we will keep on making research and we will keep on bringing the fact and to everyone you know so kindly like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching bye